hey guys hope you guys are doing well during this really strange time but i'm gonna do my uk speech on why uk should implement a healthier dining option for us on campus so everyone is really concerned about what they're consuming what they're putting into the body right i know i am so before the student center was a thing there was this place called bowman's den so bowman's den was a place on campus right behind the student center that had the same places to eat, except there was this really cool place called Greens To Go. At Greens To Go, there was basically build your own salad. You got to pick the greens that went inside of it. You got to choose your toppings, your protein, and then you got to pick your dressing. This was really convenient for people who wanted to eat healthy and people who just enjoyed salads. The quality of the salad was really good as well because that's a place that just focuses on strictly salads. Because let's face it, Chick-fil-A and Subway do not have the best quality salads because that's not their expertise. That's not why they're, that's not like what they do. That's not why they're here for us. So I think that UK should put in a new salad place. I think a great place to put it would be in the new building that is being built um, across from the student center in the old Kennedy's building. Um, I also think that our generation and generations to come really care about health and eating healthy. And I also feel like um, that price would be a potential issue, but I think that if you imp implemented a reward system that it would not, no longer be an issue and it would be a great investment for the university. So Kennedy's, whenever it was torn down, it was really sad for everybody. Everyone loved Kennedy's because it had been there for so long and it was the bookstore that was there when their parents went here or their aunts and uncles, whatever it may be. It was a really difficult time for some people whenever Kennedy's was torn down. But I recently read an article about the place that is being built in its place. In the article, it stated that, that the dining that is going to be put into the new building is really gonna be focused on local eateries. And what better way to focus on local eateries than focusing on salads? So a place that's very similar to Greens to Go, to go is called the Vinaigrette Salad Kitchen. And that is a local eatery here in Lexington. And it's basically the same thing, but better because there's more options. Um, you do the same thing, you build your salad, you pick your greens, you add your toppings, your protein, and then your salad dressing. And it's really, really good. And it's a great way to support the local eateries within town. Not to mention that it's the same distance from everything else on campus, like especially the student center, because the student center is literally right across the street. So people would definitely go there. The only healthy eating option on campus is Freshy, and that's all the way in JSB. And that's a really long hike for people who have class in like Whitehall or Patterson Hall, like how we are here now. Well, not here now. Whenever we were in class. <laughs> so I definitely think that the location is very ideal for people wanting to go and like eat there. So back to Gen Z, our generation, it's very important to our generation that we eat healthy, work out, and live a really healthy lifestyle. It's also been studied and proven that after each generation graduates and like moves on like within the next like part of their life, that they still care more, each generation cares more and more about um, their health and their fitness and what they consume. So this would be a really huge investment for the university because every single generation is gonna enjoy eating um, eating healthy and eating salads. So this would be a huge investment. And not only that, it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really healthy. So something that a lot of people would be concerned about is the money aspect, because let's face it, good salads are really, really expensive. And that's just what it is, quality over quantity in my opinion. But for those of you that don't share my same opinion, a reward system or incentive system would definitely be something to consider to put in place in the vinaigrette salad kitchen or greens to go to help create more revenue and make more people want to go. So for example, um, if you bought a salad, you'd get a little card and they would punch it. So every single time you bought a salad, they would punch it or whatever. So then whenever you get to like your 10th salad, you get a salad for free. Or, you know, you could do like a homemade cookie 
from a local bakery, get buy a salad, get one for free, or buy a salad and get a fountain drink for free. Whatever it may be, some type of incentive system to make people want to buy these salads and people to make want to want to make people want to go and you know purchase them. So I think this is a really good idea. And I also think that it's important to let people know that if you have meal swaps, you can also use those during the week between a certain time, certain hours as well. Because a lot of people that live on campus have meal swaps. And I think it's also important to let people know that the incentives, the money that's being used for that will not come out of the students' pockets or the university's pockets. It's simply just an incentive program for just, you know, that company if it's Greens to Go or the Vinaigrette Salad Kitchen. So as I conclude, I want you to remember the time that you're walking around campus trying to think of what you're going to eat today for lunch and you want it to be healthy because you're on a health kick and you're just trying to watch what you put inside of your body so that you can live a healthier lifestyle. Make sure that you remember this. Make sure that you remember what you want and you know that this is going to be something that could potentially go there. I don't think that this is necessarily ever going to be a bad idea because it's clearly something that's an investment and it's going, people are going to go there and eat it. You know, every single generation is going to want to be healthier and healthier. So that's also important. And no matter what, it's healthy. That's the main thing. That it's healthy and there's going to be incentives and it's something that everyone should do. So yeah, that's why there should be a salad place on campus. Thanks.